Hello fam and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a little bit of a story time. I feel like you guys really like when I do story time so I want to do more of them. I just have to come up with like, I have to like really think like what has happened in my life that's entertaining for other people, you know? So if you've been watching my videos for a long time and you've been wondering about something you maybe saw on a vlog but I never explained, maybe I could do a story time on it, so let me know in the comments. <laughs> so if you are watching this the day that it comes out, I'm getting my wisdom teeth out right now, so I'm trying to film some videos ahead of time, so the next couple of videos might be more like sit down videos. Uh, I don't know how long it'll be until I can like function and like talk and not feel like dying again. We're gonna do a little story time today. So today's story time is about the time that I was stranded in Mexico with my crush. Um, if you guys have been watching me for a long time, I feel like you know exactly what I'm talking about. I made a video about it. I think it's called like Exploring Mexico with My Best Friends uh, Part 2 and we were on a cruise. So basically, okay, well, so it's my husband now. This is who's in the story, Dallin. My husband, Dallin. We were both 17 at the time and we weren't dating yet, but we had gone to our high school dance together. We had already had our first kiss. We went on our first date. Like our relationship was like about to begin, but he told me one of the reasons he didn't ask me out uh, sooner was because of this cruise. He didn't want to like be my boyfriend on this cruise because we we're going with my family and then he was coming and he was invited as a family friend, like not my boyfriend. And so yeah, we just didn't want it to be weird. So he came on this cruise with my family and I think it was like the third day or something of the cruise we went to Cabo Mexico and <laughs> we got off the cruise and everyone was arguing about what they wanted to do there was like a bunch to do just like right around the cruise like if you just walk off the cruise there's like tons of stuff to do and there was like a beach and so I was like I just want to go sit on the beach all I've wanted to do is sit on a beach and that's what Dallin wanted to do too and my dad and my brother Michael and my stepmom all wanted to go on like a tour of the city so they were like we're going and doing this you guys can do whatever you want so they kind of like walked us to the beach and me Logan Hannah Benji and Dallin all wanted to go to the beach so we go to the beach we're there for like I don't know 15 minutes and then Logan Hannah and Benji all say that they want to go get food pretty sure they were doing something else but they said they wanted to go get food in Mexico so they go and like sneak off do whatever they were doing so now it's just me and Dallin because my dad, Amy, and Michael had already left for their little city bus tour. So it's just us. And we had like one water bottle that was super warm water. We had no sunscreen. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't bring any of this. I guess I was just relying on my family to have it, but then none of us were together. And it was just funny that of all the people to be left there stranded alone, it was me and Dalton. And he was my crush at the time. We weren't dating yet though. And so it was just us. And I actually like vlogged it. So I might put on some like footage and like pictures and stuff. But yeah, everyone left us and we were there. I don't remember exactly how long we were there for, maybe like three or four hours. And we had gotten completely sunburnt because we had no sunscreen. We were like starving, dehydrated. And we like didn't exactly know how to get back to the cruise ship. So we couldn't just like walk back. I was lost. I didn't know where I was really. So it was just me and him and we kind of just like sat on the beach. We talked and talked about life and I remember we had some good talks that day that I literally still remember and is part of the reason why like I knew I wanted to marry him when we were older. I don't know like I just think back on these talks and we agreed on like so many things and I knew that me and him had a lot of simul similarities and stuff. We were we'd been best friends for a while but I feel like this was actually one of the first days that he had told me like kind of opened up more and told me some stuff that I was like, huh, I did not know that about you. And I feel the same way and I agree and I think the same way. And I feel like this was one of those days that I actually was like, oh, I think I wanna be with this boy forever. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. Other than that, we like took pictures. We were doing like some acro yoga, or at least trying and doing like handstands and just like kind of messing around, having fun, laughing. It was basically like what every 17 year old wishes that they could do with their crush. Like, I got to do that. We were just on the beach hanging and laughing. Now that I look back, like we didn't even like kiss or anything. Like we had this whole beach, like no one else was really around us and none of my family was there. And we were like, yes, hang out and talk. We were so wholesome. So like three or four hours go by and finally my dad and my brother walk up and I think my stepmom 
and they were like, have you guys just been here by yourselves like this whole time? We were like, yeah, everyone just kind of left us. And then everyone was making fun of us because there was actually this time, this is like a mini story time within my story time. So when we were like 12, we always go on family vacation to Pensacola, Florida. And my family started going with his family and I had a huge crush on him. And so we were just like out one night. It was me, Dallin, and my brother, Benji. And then something happened. Benji was like, oh, I don't want to like go on a walk on the beach anymore. I'm going back in the hotel. So then it was just me and Dallin and my phone was at 2%. So I turned it off and put it in his pocket and he didn't bring his phone or something. I don't remember what the deal was, but this is like such a big joke in the family. Everyone still brings it up. So we go on a walk and we just were walking because we were both super awkward and nervous and we weren't really that close back then because we were like 12 and neither of us like knew how to talk to someone of the other gender. So it was just super awkward and he knew I had a crush on him. And so we just like went on this walk and we thought we were gone for maybe like 10, 15, 20 minutes and we come back and the whole family is like we called you we texted you we thought you guys were lost we couldn't find you like you've been gone for like two hours and we were like and so everyone thought we like were sneaking off together and like making out and no it was super awkward the whole time we barely even talked we just were like oh look um the moon the stars so cool and we were like drawing pictures in the sand to each other and it was just super awkward <laughs> that was the same trip i think that i confessed my love to him as like a 12 year old and he denied me so that was rude thanks dallin I flash forward like seven years or whatever we're about to start dating and we're on this beach together so it's like the same scenario basically and so they were making fun of us and like oh you guys sneaking off on a beach again typical sit and down it was just funny then they like took pictures of us and it was pretty chill it's like nothing too crazy happened i don't know i just like looking back on the vlog and i was like you know what i never like explained what happened like we were just there alone in mexico like what when does that happen to someone i don't know but nothing too crazy happened we just hung out talked a lot and then we walked back my brother and my dad walked us back to where the cruise ship was and we got on the cruise ship and that was that but yeah we didn't plan on just being stranded, just me and him. And it's kind of funny because my dad used to be really strict about me hanging out with boys alone. And so it was kind of like a big deal like, oh, you guys are just on the beach, just you two on our family vacation that we invited Dallin on and you're just alone on the beach. But it's okay, dad, because we're married now. So it was all worth it in the end. That's it. That's the whole story. There wasn't much to the story, but I just wanted to talk about it. I don't know, I thought it was funny and maybe you guys would enjoy. So that's it for the video and that's it for the story time. This one isn't too crazy, but I've been trying really hard to think of some that are more crazy. I do have one about how I got locked out of my house on New Year's Eve when it was freezing cold outside. But that'll be coming soon and I'm trying to think of more. So if you guys have any ideas and you're like, oh, I remember this, you should tell story time about it. Or like, I don't know, I don't know what to tell story times about. So I also feel like I don't have that great of a memory. Like I literally can't remember freshman year, sophomore year starting to fade. So if I'm gonna make story times, now's the time. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. It would mean the world if you guys could subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It helps out a ton in the algorithm. Uh, also, I'm now posting Monday through Friday, five days a week. Uh, hopefully that can still happen this week even though I just got my wisdom teeth out. So, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the support. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!